Okay, I know this is a very specific subject for a video, but stick with me on this one. Is it just me? Or are covers for games, DVDs, and Blu-rays all exceedingly dull and very similar? The one that gets me most is video game covers, and I'll mostly be focusing on them, so let's start there. Out of the 40 odd games I own, I can only say that I genuinely like the covers of 5 of them. And 2 of them are Batman games, and one is a special edition of a game that normally has a totally bland looking cover. So I've come to the conclusion that game covers break down into two main categories. Person slash robot slash creature holding a gun slash weapon and looking angry, and the grizzled white guy in danger or holding a weapon. I would like to think that games have evolved past the point where you need to attract the interest of small children by simply putting an angry looking dude holding a gun, but I guess the evidence proves otherwise. I understand that they want to clearly show that the game involves plenty of action and guns, and they don't want to keep anything a mystery, but games like Skyrim prove that you don't need to have an obnoxiously over the top explosion front cover to interest people, and still sell millions of copies. I understand that games like Skyrim are part of a huge franchise, but even most of the huge AAA games have exceedingly lazy front covers, despite the fact they're guaranteed to sell like crazy. So I have two game covers in particular that I find the most lazy and insulting, the first being Bioshock Infinite. There's so much more to Bioshock Infinite than a grizzled white guy holding a shotgun and looking downwards, and the developers clearly knew it, hence why they printed an infinitely better excuse the pun, cover on the flip side of the awful default one. Were they really that obsessed with trying to reach so broad an audience as possible by making the cover so bland as to try and sell a few extra copies to people who will see it and say, oh cool, that game doesn't look like Call of Duty because it has them guns in there, I'm gonna buy this right now today. So the other game cover I loathe is for the unreleased at this time, new IP known as Destiny. Now this game was one of my most anticipated titles for next year, and the original cover that was used for promotional material was both interesting and cryptic, and inspired you to want to research and see what the game was all about. Now here is the official cover. Yep, another dude holding a gun, who looks strangely like Master Chief from the trailer for the next Halo game. The thing that gets to me most is the fact that I know, for a fact that the artists and talent behind the design of these games are incredibly creative and imaginative people so it seems like such a shame to represent these games as typical, predictable, shooty-shooty, gun-gun explosion things. It makes it remarkably difficult to try and defend games as an art form when the design process for the covers are so lazy and uninspired. And if nothing else, it gives the fools who think video games are the core reason as to why violence exists more false evidence for their idiotic arguments and points. Man, I wish I could live in a world where covers were actually different. But, well, what's- Jesus Christ, what's going on? Oh, God. Where am I? Oh, this is awful. Where's my nice red background gone? What is this? It's beige. What? what? The background. The colour. It's beige. Oh, right. Uh, who are you? Where am I? I run a YouTube channel about my opinions and feelings on things. What? Uh, really? Well, that's very similar to what I do. Have you heard of me before? My channel is called I Hate Everything. Well, my channel is called I Am Neutral On Everything. Well, this is... This is awful. That is nice that you think that. But it is also not nice that you think that. I am neutral on your opinion. Oh Christ, somebody get me out of here. Wait a sec, uh, am I in a parallel universe or something? Uh, what are DVD, Blu-rays and, and game covers like over here? Well, um, they're all beige, with simple text on them, like they have always been. My god, this is even worse than what they're like in my universe. This is awful, this is just too awful. Am I going to be trapped here forever? Wait a minute. Maybe when I said that it was my wish that I could live in a different universe, my wish somehow came true. Well, I guess it's worth a shot to try wishing again. Okay. I wish I was in a universe where media covers were all imaginative and original. Uh, and not beige. Whoa! Oh god, what is this? It's pink. So much pink. Hello there, my new and fantastic friend. It is just ugh, such a wonderful time today to make new friends. Is it not the best, my new friend? Holy mother of God. No. 
You can't be. This is... This isn't possible. Oh, how rude of me. Let me introduce myself. I am... I love everything. No. No. Oh, God. This is even worse than the last one. Okay, just tell me one thing, mister. I love everything. What are game covers like in this world? Well, um, uh, game covers, they're all very creative and wonderful. I knew it. I knew... Wait, what? So, so they're all original and unique? Yes, they are, my friend. However, they did cause the almighty overlord to gain his power, and also started 14 world wars. <laughs> oh, right. Of course it did. So who's this almighty overlord, then? I must never mention his name, old friend, or he will stab me to death with his trident. Well, that sucks. Well, wait, did you say trident? Only one being in my universe use a trident. It is Aquaman your almighty overlord? Uh-oh, looks like you uttered the overlord's name. I guess it's time to accept our deaths. Not for me, it's not. There is no way in hell that Aquaman is going to be the one to kill me. I wish I was back in my normal universe. No, don't go, best friend. Oh, f*** off. Oh, no. Overlord, my friend. I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Do you think it's okay to f*** around with the Overlord? Well, well, of course not, Overlord. I'm gonna kill you now. Wow. Well, that was... Truly, truly strange. And I never managed to get around to the DVD and Blu-ray section. Oh well, the general idea of what I think is proven in a Gizmodo article I've linked in the description. Anyway, where did the unexplicable power to grant wishes come from in the first place? Red a da whoa, -ho. red a da whoa, -ho. Oh, genie, of course, I found that lamp, didn't I, and you granted me three wishes. <laughs> you crazy f***ing bastard. Just a friendly reminder to like my obligatory Facebook page for all the latest updates on whatever I'm doing next. Bye.